Hello fellow noob tubers and welcome to today's video. We've all heard from parents, family, friends, and maybe even the college itself during orientation to bring sheets, pillows, cleaning supplies, and a mini fridge, a kettle, more ramen than one person can consume in a single semester, and of course plenty of clothing since you will be away from your closet. But what if I told you there was more? More stuff that you were not told about to bring. Well, that's what I will be covering in today's video. But before getting into today's video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And if you want to make my day, share this video with your friends, family, or social media followers. Enough intro, now for the content. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep watching for the special bonus thing that I will be including somewhere in this video. Do not just skip to number five. It's not going to be a uh, secret number six. No, it's going to be in the video somewhere. Look, you spent your whole summer saving money for college, maybe worked at Walmart or something, did odd jobs for family members, starved yourself of everyday treats, and applied for scholarships, and all to just have the money for one academic year at college. So now you're at college and your friends are like, hey, want to chip in on a large pizza and a Coke? So you look into your wallet and nothing. You check your bank account and nothing. You check that secret pocket on your backpack and nothing. You are what we call college broke. You have a meal plan so you won't starve, but everyone needs a snack or a Starbucks once in a while. If you want to not be miserable at college, save additional funds, at least 300 for coffee, depending on how much you drink. But if you want a more accurate estimate, just calculate the price of coffee to about, mm, I'd say about a dollar, no, excuse me, two dollars and 80 cents should be enough, maybe even enough for a medium at Starbucks. and. Take your, take the number of days in the semester and how many of those days you're going to want coffee and then just multiply the 280 by that number and that's how much money you need to take for snack. Number two, bring plenty of dishes. Here's a scenario for you. Your friend comes into the room and offers you some KFC. So you being a normal human being who loves the taste of fried chicken, take them up on that offer. But then you realize your only plate, cup, fork, and spoon are dirty. Don't be this guy and make sure to bring at least two of everything. Two cups, two mugs, two forks, you get the point. Trust me, you want extra. Also, roommates, if you have any, may be using your dishes. You can't just take them away and load up on KFC while your roommate is sitting there staring angrily at you. You don't want to be a butt to them. Also, I don't know who would actually do that, aside from a psychopath, but yeah, don't be a psychopath and take the plate that they're using, even if it is yours. I know from experience that coffee is a necessity of college. I even know never coffeeers who started drinking it there. But you don't want to go broke drinking Starbucks or suffer drinking terrible cafeteria coffee. Just buy a cheap Keurig coffee maker and more importantly, a reusable K cup. This little thing will save you some serious money. Trust me, K cups run like 50 cents a piece, if I've done my research correctly. Depending on what you get, you may spend a dollar for a K cup, depending on where you're buying them. On this, these things are like maybe three bucks and you just refill it with whatever your favorite coffee is. Simple, quick and easy, saves you a ton of money. If not this, at least buy a French press. It requires no filters, just hot water and coffee. And if you took your parents, friends, and even the college's advice, you have a kettle to heat the water with. As a reward for watching this video for so long, thank y'all, by the way, I will share the special bonus item with you right now. Items, I should say. Bring 
plenty of medicine. Do not just bring a pack of band-aids and Tylenol. This is barely sufficient. Trust me. With cafeterias having to cook in large quantities, it's easy for meat to get undercooked. So you will want to have some activated charcoal tablets in case of food poisoning with you. Also, bring cough syrup. With so many young adults all crammed in the same area, cold spread easily. So be prepared, especially during a pandemic. Do not overlook this bonus item, please. Your health will thank you for it. Sitting in your bed to do work gets old fast. And sitting in the library or in a common area to study can be unpredictable at times. There may be noise, it may be awkwardly quiet, or just not having, or just not your thing. And study lounges aren't much better. Save yourself bad grades and go invest your money in a comfy chair. Just go by Goodwill, the Clarence section at Walmart, Amazon, or garage sale and get one. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get one. Some college dorms provide desks and chairs in the room, like my college, but I guarantee you, and I guarantee you from experience, that they're plastic or wooden. My college actually has both. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know, you never know which one you're going to get. Maybe they have some padding, but they are far from comfy. Trust me, buy a comfy chair. Your comfort and grades will thank you for it. This is probably the most overlooked thing to bring to college, but can save you major headaches and maybe make you some money. And that's tools. The last thing you want to happen is your comfy chair breaks. Now, where are you going to sit? If you're like most college students, you try to improvise by using a pocket knife, letter opener, if you even have one, or maybe a multi-tool. Also, buy a multi-tool. Even if you have tools with you, please invest in one. They come in handy. This may get you by on a small problems, but it will be a garden hose on a forest fire if anything major breaks in your room. Here are some tools that you will need to bring with you. This is not the minimum amount. I'll share that with you later. Buy a screwdriver that has bit storage in the handle. Just ask the hardware store. They will know what you mean when you ask for it if you don't already know. A hammer. An adjustable wrench. Allen wrenches. Again, ask your hardware store if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Duct tape, because it fixes everything. Pliers. Channel locks. Again, ask your hardware store if you do not know what I'm saying and WD-40 for greasing and lubricating squeaky things in the room. And since this may be too much for you, or you just don't have the money to go buy a whole tool set, at least bring these things with you. The screwdriver I mentioned above, a hammer, pliers, and a wrench. And, since you're Mr. Handy now, or Mrs. Handy, you might want to consider charging people to do simple room repairs or even loan out your tools. It can make you some money. Not serious money, but enough money to keep up your habit of going out to Starbucks every once in a while, at the least. I hope you all found this video very informative, and I pray that your first or next semester at college is less stressful thanks to this video.